Good to have you with us. There will be an online memorial this weekend to honor the life of a man who died climbing one of our state's 14ers. His father is talking about his son's legacy and what we should know. He was on what's known as the Keyhole Route in Long's Peak. He called for help as conditions deteriorated quickly. Investigators with Rocky Mountain National Park say he was not really prepared for that changing weather. Other hikers found his body a few days later. Now, only on four tonight, our Jamie Leary talks with his father. If I could have given him a lesson, you know, I would have told him to watch the weather. Russell would have said, Dad, stop. By the age of 25, Russell Jacobs had overcome a lot, including a serious chronic health issue. So hiking a 14,000-foot peak, it's the kind of thing that brought him peace. It was near the summit of one of Colorado's most dangerous 14ers, where Russell lost his life. I would tell the hiking community that hiking is a wonderful sport. Just take whatever precautions you, you, you have to. Russell never anticipated spending the night in rough winter conditions on top of Long's Peak. For his dad, there's another human. lesson about leaving this world a good person. I know he's made an impact on the world. All these people had such wonderful stories about how he impacted not only his co-workers, but the dogs. His co-workers and the dogs at Hike Doggy, a golden-based doggy daycare. Russell's father, Keith, flew into town to meet the crew his son talked so much about. They loved him. We just celebrated his 25th birthday. Of course, he sang. Brown-eyed women, red grenadine. Just two days before Russell set out to climb Long's Peak, he was celebrating his birthday, surrounded by people who loved him. He was funny and he was kind. He was he's someone I'm very lucky that our paths crossed. I think Russell's legacy is is going to be in the lives he touched and made a difference for, yeah. you know, so many people. Number one, me. The Colorado mountains were healing for the Connecticut native. It was his absolute favorite place in the world, except in a except in a nice cold pond, which I still I still can't come to grips with. Whether he was plunging into a mountain lake or caring for dogs, Russell always went above and beyond. I'm sure when Russell was up on the mountain, he, he had that same spirit of, I'm not going to give up. So Jamie Leary reporting there on CBSColorado.com. We have our stories about the recovery effort involved in his loss.